Like you're awake. Yep, yep. I prepared some breakfast today. Please have a taste. I hope you'll like it. <sighs> it's nice to have you here so we can eat something yummy. Well, now that I've recovered from Elizar, I'm feeling better than ever. I can even prepare four or five meals a day now. And Pima Bits, they're all delicious. Oh, by the way. Someone brought a letter for you after you went to sleep last night. Nope. Paimon wanted to read the letter with you after you woke up. So Paimon didn't open it. Alright, let's read it now. Oh, it's from Milu. Ahem. <clears throat> We're going to hold a feast at the Grand Bazaar and celebrate Sino's reinstatement as the General Mahamatra. As heroes of Sumeru, please be sure to attend. I'll wait for you. Hmm. The date of the banquet is written on the back. It's in two days! Oh, I've also heard that you've become heroes here as well. That's amazing. Sometimes I'm really envious of strong and confident people like you. Oh, <laughs> you're embarrassing me. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the Grand Bazaar to have a look. Oh, before you leave, be sure to inform Master Tainari. Good morning. How do you feel today? We feel much better. How about you? I'm recovering well. Thanks for asking. But from the looks of it, you seem to be already busy with work again. It's fine. I'm not that busy, really. The Elazar patients have recovered, as well as Hapasia. For now, I only need to tend to my Forest Watcher duties. It seems once Ermansoul started getting better, everything else started to recover, too. Yes, but there are still some residual effects. The withering is one example. Though it won't spread anymore, the existing zones won't just disappear. We forest rangers will still need to do the work. By the way, we have some good news. Sino got his position back! <laughs> this news is hardly new. He had already mentioned it to me before. Huh? You mean he was already here? He visited once, but he was afraid of disturbing you while you were resting. He just asked me a few questions and left. And you probably already know all about the celebration feast. Celebration feast? No, I haven't heard anything about that. Huh? But didn't Nilo say in her letter that they would celebrate Sino? He didn't tell you? Hmm. Perhaps, or alternatively, he doesn't know about it either. Uh, come to think of it, doesn't seem like the type who'd enjoy a celebration feast. You and Kale are both Sino's close friends. Why don't you come to the feast with us? Kale has taken over some of my tasks these days. I don't think she'll have time for it. Not to mention me. You see, some VIPs have come to the forest recently. Huh? VIPs? Very important Paimons? Well, technically speaking, they are former VIPs. The sages involved in recent incidents have begun their training in the Avidya Forest, and the people they had previously imprisoned have all been released. Huh? Yes, he's a little weak, but he isn't injured and his condition is stable. Lesser Lord Kusanali in her boundless mercy has decided to spare Azar and the other wrongdoers. Supposedly they were ashamed of their shallow ideologies, and have decided to dedicate the rest of their lives to cultivating wisdom in the Avidya Forest. When they learned that Lesser Lord Kusanali had defeated the Balladeer and saved Ermansoul, they were shocked at first, but also became happy, feeling that the sacred light guiding them on the path of discovering wisdom had begun to shine once again. As a result, work has increased for the forest rangers. 
That sounds really exhausting. There's nothing we can do, really. But that's another topic. Back to the matter at hand. Are you two planning to head out? Ah, right! We're here to request permission to head out. Would that be okay? You've recovered well. You may go, but be careful. Is there anything else you'd like to ask about? Ah, yes. Thanks for remembering her. She continued her training in the forest after she recovered. As a scholar, she never slacks off. A lot has happened lately. Kale and I have been busy. But don't worry, we'll take care of ourselves. As for Sino's reinstatement, the more I think about it, the more I suspect that he just doesn't have a single clue about this feast. But this does remind me that Kale and I should find an opportunity to celebrate him as well. He has helped me a lot during this time. And you as well. Thank you. Take care. Please, find me if you need anything. the road. I'll keep this close. Well, there won't be- Mr. Zubair, I finished telling things up here. Well, except for the guests. <sighs> Is a simple reply really that much to ask of our guests? It's affecting our arrangements! 
Oh, it'll be fine. Besides, it never hurts to get things ready in advance. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. The feast will be held sooner or later, right? Hey, Milu! Traveler, Paimon! We got your letter, so here we are! You're the best! The other guests haven't even replied yet. Huh? Are we the only ones that have arrived? Yeah. I had someone deliver letters to all of our guests. But maybe everyone is still busy with other things. Look, I get it. Sumeru is in an extremely important period of transition right now, but even if your friends are important figures, they shouldn't just ignore your request like this. Nilu is Sumeru's number one celebrity after all. <laughs> you have no idea how happy I am to talk to people with good taste. If you consider enjoying Nilu's dances having good taste, then almost everybody has good taste. Because Paimon thinks everybody will love her performance. That's right. We all think she's amazing, too. Nilu is an absolute favorite among those of us who frequent the Grand Bazaar. For Outlanders, you have a great eye. Master Zubair, let's have a vote for the most outstanding audience members next time. <laughs> I think these two may win. Nonsense! It is not for us to determine the value of an audience. But, indeed, we could try giving gifts to people with particularly good taste. I heard there's a device in Fontaine called a camera that can record people's appearances as pictures. Such pictures would make superb gifts. Ooh, good idea. I wonder where we can find one. Uh, I don't want you giving pictures of me to everyone. I'm satisfied just being able to perform here. There's always a lot going on at the Grand Bazaar. Yeah, and that's why I love it here. Traveler and Paimon, could you help confirm if the letters were actually delivered? If for some reason they didn't receive the letters, then please tell everyone that there will be a feast here. Yeah, we can also check out how everything in Sumeru is going now. Hmm. When I wrote the letters, I heard that Dia was in Port Ormos. And I'll hate them was at the Academia. As for Sino, we've only heard that he appears at the Academia from time to time. I'm not too sure about Rahman's whereabouts. My guess is that he's with Dia. As for Dunyazad, I just hope she's feeling better. I sent her a letter, but I was afraid of disturbing her. If you have time, please ask about her for me. Okay, got it. Let's go, Traveler. It seems Scribe Alhatham has gone to the house of Dana. You should be able to find him there. But you're already the second group of people I've seen looking for him today. He must be quite the busy man. Oh? Who else was looking for him? Mr. Cave was just here asking about him. You wouldn't believe how terrible their relationship is. And now you two are here. 
Don't tell me everyone's here looking for gossip about the sages. No way! We're strictly here on business. <laughs> ah, I see. Sorry, I thought maybe everyone's as interested in rumors about the sages as I am. should be around here somewhere, right? Oh, he's over there! But it looks like he might not have time for us. Just put down that worthless book and tell me what happened in the Academia. This is not just some worthless book. Do you have any idea how difficult it is to find a physical book like this in Sumeru? It doesn't matter, it's probably just another thing that you used your authority to get your hands on anyway. Just put it aside. Listen, I came back today only to hear that the sages have disappeared. Oh? You sound surprised. I thought you would already know the inside story. Would I be here asking you if I knew? You're the scribe, not me. So just tell me what you know already. Well, I almost became a sage. Huh? Oh, don't sound too surprised now. You're the renowned Kave. Light of the Kasharawar. Besides, as a master builder and craftsman, chances are you'll be appointed as a sage too. Hmm. Why do I feel like you don't really mean it? Huh. What makes you say that? Why would you question my heartfelt sincerity? Maybe it's because you've never said anything good about me before. Yeah, well, I share a similar sentiment, and anyone who knows you as well as I do would surely do the same. Ah, oh, you... See? This is why I hate discussing anything with you. Your ridiculous and arrogant attitude always gets in the way. <laughs> it seems that you really can't stand my personality. Ha! <laughs> what was your first clue? Well, then you might as well move out of my house. Are you threatening me? Stooping to a new low, I see. Ugh, and don't change the subject. You, a sage? What a joke. The Academia might as well just close tomorrow. Are they... having a fight? <sighs> Forget what's going on with the Academia. Haven't you been busy with your construction project? Tell me, when are you going to build yourself a mansion? Don't get me started. I get angry just thinking about it. So, what great building did our master architect work on this time? Like I need to tell you. Keep your nose out of my business. No, I think we deserve to know. Where were you when Sumeru needed you most? I was in the desert for a large project, but considering Haravatat's utter ignorance of architectural and aesthetic matters, you probably wouldn't understand. Oh, which is truly unfortunate. I can only pity the man who doesn't understand the first thing about beauty and romance. Unlike a true... Uh, hold on, uh, wait a second. What do you mean by when Sumeru needed me most? Well, while you were out fiddling around in the desert, many people came together to save Sumeru from a crisis. Ha! And you think I'd believe that? Look, all you really need to know is that Azar and all his accomplices have all been overthrown. Huh? What nonsense are you talking about? <laughs> it's no skin off my nose if you don't believe me. It's not like my Darshan was the one trying to apply for funding from the Grand Sage. Hmm. 
Yours, though, on the other hand. You know what? I'll ask around. I'm sure someone knows what's going on here. You're dead if I find out you're lying to me. It's you two. What's the matter? We're running some errands for Nilu. Have you received her letter? Letter? Nilu said she sent out a letter inviting everyone to a celebration feast in two days at the Grand Bazaar. We'll also be celebrating Zaino's reinstatement as General Mahamatra. If she addressed the letter to all Haytham of the Academia, then the letter should have gone to my office. I've been busy these days, so I haven't had time to check for any new mail at my office. I only now have some free time to attend to personal matters. Have you always been so busy with your work? Of course not. I'm only busy these days because several sages have been dismissed recently and the whole academia was practically turned upside down. Kainari told us they all went to train in the Avidia Forest. Apparently they will spend the rest of their lives there. That is already the best possible ending for the likes of them. Four of the six great sages were possessed by their desire for power and attempted to create a new god. In order to pull it off, they even imprisoned the other two rational sages. To imagine such things could take place in the academia. Hmm. I don't know where to begin. Yeah, you're right. Huh. Feels kind of strange to hear them called that after all this time. But then again... The six great schools sounded pretty impressive, too. Yes, at least that's how they're supposed to sound. It's said that when the Academia was first founded, the Dendro Archon herself established the six great schools, each representing one of the six different types of wisdom. Numerous Darshans have sprung up and faded. Only the six Darshans attaching themselves to the six great schools have stood the test of time and obtained permanent seats in the Academia. Now, the six Darshans are nearly synonymous with the six great schools, and the leaders selected for the schools are the six great sages. Among the six great sages, there is one central leader, the Grand Sage. Unfortunately, only the sages from Vahumana and Amorta remain now. They were imprisoned for opposing Azar and were only rescued after Azar's downfall. So who's managing things in the other four schools now? Do they need to find someone new? Yes. Normally, new sages are selected based on a strict set of criteria. Oh, didn't you just say something about becoming a sage? If they pick you, then we'd have a huge connection in Sumeru. Yes, about that. <clears throat> you didn't let me finish my sentence. The person in charge of personnel affairs nominated me to be the Grand Sage in place of Azar and help Lesser Lord Kusanali manage the Academia. But I refused. Huh? But why? Uh I'm not even interested in being one of the six great sages. Like I said before, I don't like being a leader. Oh, alright. <sighs> so are you busy these days trying to find others to take the job? That's not my job either. I'm only responsible for handling important affairs within the Academia before the new sages take office. <laughs> and the first thing I'll do is reject Kisharawar's application for funding. By the way, who was that other person just now? Is he your friend? Do we look like friends? Paimon doesn't know! That's why Paimon's asking! His name is Kave, My roommate. You could say he's the representative for Ksharwar Scholars. Which is exactly why he always has so many problems. So everything that's happened recently must be a huge change for the people of Sumeru. Such is the work of the Academia. Well, anyway, no matter how busy you are, since you are our planner, remember to attend the celebration feast in two days. Alright, I'll see you there. <laughs> 